to that breaking news in the fallout of the Eric Garner death. No departmental trial for the sergeant who supervised the officers involved with Garner's death. Instead, she will keep her job and lose some vacation time. News 2's Valerie Castro joins us from the newsroom now with more. Valerie. Dick and Christine, this comes just two days after NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill announced the firing of Officer Daniel Pantaleo. In the wake of that news, Eric Garner's family called for the other officers at the scene that day to also face punishment, including the supervising sergeant, Kizzy Adonis. Gwen Carr, the mother of Eric Garner, called for further justice for her son following the firing of NYPD Officer Daniel Pantaleo on Monday. We have other officers that we have to go after. You have heard the names. We know the wrongdoing that they have done. One of those officers named Sergeant Kizzy Adonis. According to testimony from another officer at Pantaleo's trial, Adonis arrived at the scene after Eric Garner had already been pulled to the ground in a chokehold during his arrest. Kizzy Adonis, the only officer with charges pending by the NYPD. Sergeant Kizzy Adonis was the commanding officer on the scene. Right. Commanding officer who failed to supervise. Adonis was slated for departmental trial by year's end, but instead struck a deal with the NYPD. She'll remain with the force after agreeing to plead guilty to charges of failure to supervise. Her penalty, a loss of 20 vacation days. It's been five In a statement this years, afternoon, I Gwen Carr said, quote, I'm not one bit surprised, but I am outraged and disgusted by how the de Blasio administration and the NYPD continue to show that they don't care about the murder of my son. No Reverend Al Sharpton, who has long been by the family side, issued a statement saying, quote, the loss of vacation days is akin to no penalty at all. If the penalty for not doing your job is that you can keep doing your job, it is an injustice to the family of Eric Garner and the residents of New York City. And no comment yet from Police Commissioner O'Neill or the mayor. We reached out to the Sergeant's Benevolent Association. The union says it will hold a news conference tomorrow to, quote, address what really occurred in this extremely sensitive matter. Live in the newsroom, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.